Good day. I'm Reverend Ronald Nathan and I'm the minister of the Hogad Amy Zion Church in Jackson, St. Michael on the island of Barbados. Thank you for joining us today in our meditations called Veiled Truths, where we look at the parables told by Jesus Christ. These are parables or stories told to illustrate a truth with a twist that speaks to things familiar. Jesus Christ, the Palestinian Jew, used this first century form to teach his disciples. Some will get it its meaning, many others won't. They were designed to make the listener think. Today's parable is about neighborly love, based on Luke chapter 10, verse 29 to 37, uh, what is traditionally called the Good Samaritan. And this is our second installment. A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was. And when he saw him, he took pity on him. Jesus Christ asserts that these two men were neighbors. The context, however, does not support this assertion in the traditional sense. It is implied that the person who is nameless is a Jew. He is the one that comes under attack. He is traveling on what was considered to be one of the most dangerous roads in all of Palestine at the time. Apart from the precarious topography of the area, it allowed for thieves to hide and to rob the unexpected traveller. We are then informed that there is a fellow traveller on the same road who is identified as a Samaritan. These two men had a few things in common. However, let us just identify two. They are both men and they are travelers on the same road. They are strangers and would not have known each other's names or history. However, Jesus in this parable continues to assert that they are neighbors, even though their racial descendants differed. Their religious affiliation was different. Their national identity was conflicted and a source of historical animosity. Yet Jesus locates them as neighbors. And the reason for that is Jesus sees them as children of God, traveling on the same road of life and open to the same vulnerabilities. That alone should trigger a sense of responsibility, is what Jesus is teaching. It is not that issues of identity, nationality, and histories are not important in the teachings of Jesus Christ. They are. But there is more at stake. God is in the man crying out for help. And God is in the man hearing the cry. This is the realization that trumps identity, nationality, and historicity. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., preaching on this subject, once said that there are two questions to be asked in these situations. First, what could happen to me if I stop to help this man? The second question, what will happen to this man if I do not stop to help him? Go and do likewise, Jesus said to the listeners of the parable. We too must recognize the image of God in humanity and that we are both on the same road. 
We are the children of God, destined to produce fruit for his kingdom in the now and the hereafter. Jesus the Christ taught the people many things by parables. That which was veiled has been revealed. So let us learn from these earthly stories and draw nearer to God. May God open our minds to understand his will, open our eyes to see his doing, open our ears to hear his bidding, open our hands to receive his blessings, and open our hearts to love all of his children. Amen. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Pass our link on to your family and friends and give us a thumbs up. God bless you and have a great day.